Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. Christmas tree. We are weeks behind, aren't we, Jack? <laughs> Look at these two in their beautiful little pajamas, their Grinch pajamas. Stand up and show the camera. Look, this was in their first of December boxes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We've got these pajamas off eBay, so I'll leave you a link in the description so you can snap some yourselves. But I don't think these particular ones will arrive just in time for Christmas. We are finally getting to our Christmas tree. We're going to be decorating it. We're going to be decorating with two toddlers, so that should be entertaining enough as it is. Now, a lot of our decorations are from either Kmart or Big W, so I won't need to yell out what comes from where. They're either one of the two, so you'll get the point. Now, Miss Bella Rose, what does Christmas mean to you, my darling? Santa! Presents? Yes. Presents, yes, excellent. So, we've got to get this show going because little Jack Jack's just jumping out of his skin right now with excitement. just because we want a little bit more of a natural look this year. So, I've done this before, I've turned it inside out and it looks a treat. So, watch and explore. Now, I forgot to mention that I actually already pre-lit my tree while you weren't looking because you know what, it's really not exciting to watch people put up lights, you know? I mean, some people can say that about Christmas trees, but whoo, I've got a daughter crawling between my legs right here, woohoo! <laughs> and I wanted to show you which lights we use. We use the ones from Kmart. They're the Anko 600 LED warm lights. If you were lucky enough and you got to see our seven foot Kmart Christmas tree review, 
you would know that we got the Kmart Christmas tree seven footer. And God, we love it. It fits in our lounge room beautifully. And I thought to myself, 600 LED lights would fit on perfectly. For my taste, I reckon two lots of these would have been perfect on the Christmas tree, but for this year, it's still going to look gorgeous. Now, we've also got the blue iced string lights here as well, just to give it a different look. I have no idea how this Christmas tree is going to turn out because this year we're going with an Australiana theme. I've got gum leaves, I've got echidnas, I've got kangaroos, you know, all the fun things that Australians love. All right, so let's continue on with the decoration station. I'm gonna keep putting my little burlap stuff across the tree, inside out. What was that? I said that would be amazing, yes! <laughs> It's looking pretty good so far. Now, just letting you know the plan of attack, as you can probably see in the background, other than my two little angels over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Put them on top of the tree, shall we? We are going to be doing the three Christmas trees this year. to do the three Christmas trees because why not? I had three of them, so I may as well use them up. We're gonna have a little Christmas corner happening. I didn't want a million decorations spread around the house. Pretty much like we did at Halloween time, we're just gonna have a little corner. Have all our toot together in one spot. How does that sound? Pretty good to me too. So we've got the big seven foot Christmas tree in the background. That, that one was from Kmart. If you want to see the video on that one, we've got a review, we've got an unboxing. I'll put it in the description for you. We've got this Christmas tree here. I bought it last year. That was from Target. That's the snowy aspen. I think I spent about $50 on it. We used that because Jack was so little and he was so into just pulling the decorations of all the kids haven't we <laughs> tree sacrificing for the smaller one that's what we did last year just because we wanted to keep all our decorations intact just over here in the corner just little one from Kmart that I bought for Bella last year oh we've got Bella Boo with us now say hi, hi. Merry Christmas everybody oh that was lovely all right so Let's get to the nitty gritty decoration side of things. So what I'm gonna do first is put all our bigger decorations. Let me show you what we've got. Yay! I know. Oh, what did you bought for us? No, I didn't buy anything for you. I bought stuff for the tree. I got some new stuff. I got inspired by Mr. Claus or Mr. Whatever that show is on Netflix, you probably know what I'm talking about. The new decorating show with Mr. Christmas or whatever his name is. Sorry, I miss Christmas. Get out. So I'm allowed to do a little bit of a copy slash inspired version of one of Miss Christmas trees on the TV show. As I was saying in another video, this year we're actually going to be doing an Australiana Christmas tree. Yes, it's gonna have the snowy crap traditional Christmas sort of bubbles as well, but we are mixing it up with a bit of an Australiana theme as well. So if you are interested in something new and different, 
you know you're gonna want to keep watching. Did I mention you need to go and get your coffee? Go get your coffee, you're gonna need it. All us mums, dads, whoever's bloody watching you out there. Grab your cup of coffee, let's get started. Now, as I was saying earlier, Mr. Christmas or whatever his name is off the good old new Netflix show that's going on, decorating show. And what I saw in one of his programs was he actually put up some photo frames. These were miniature and very, very beautiful. I don't have the money to spend on that crap. So we went down to our good old Kmart, as we do, and got our last year family photos printed off just in black and white. And I think they worked out about maybe, let's say 40 cents each, at the most. And these photo frames are also from Kmart. The, the wood ones are only a dollar 75. They're an odd price, but the other two colors that this comes in are two dollars each. Who cares? They look fantastic. This year we're just going for a bigger ornament Christmas tree effect look because we've got the seven footer. It needs to be filled. I love filled to chockers, to the brim, to the wall, to the window, to the wall. Oh, Christmas tree. And what I'm gonna stick them on with are these. Tarantara, fab. Oh, Tarantara. <laughs> Fabulous cable ties. They have come in so handy, especially when it comes to Christmas trees. So I've just done the full pictures. Let me show up close. They're really cute. So these are from last year. They're little Christmas babies. Oh, oh, warm and fuzzies. Warm and fuzzy. <laughs> I'm gonna find some decent holes in my tree. Just shove these in. I'm going to, I'm going to use this little silver metal loop, thread it through my cable tie and attach it to my tree. I have never done this before. So forgive me if it doesn't work, but I'm very excited to try. <laughs> One's there already and I love it. Oh my goodness. What a treat. Okay, fast forward, see how it's gonna look in the end. Closer look in a minute, just so you can see the deliciousness of it all. It's turned out so good. So if you did get yourself the Kmart seven footer Christmas tree, you can go the whole hog with bigger ornaments if you want to. I'm giving it a go this year and no regrets thus far. Love it. Next cab off the rank. Oh, would you like me to light your way for you? Came out again. Christmas lanterns. They come in a few different colours. I got the silver because you know what? You can't go wrong with silver or gold. That mix match with everything. I've got three of them this year, but last year I already had three. So, so if you're a bargain hunter like myself, it's obvious. Wait the day after Christmas, get the Christmas sales hip hop and happening, and you'll find yourself a bargain. And maybe you can have the best tree of your life next year. Same with the pictures, I'm gonna be whacking these up with some cable ties, all different angles, all different directions.
Now that I've got all the mega huge bits on the tree, now we can work around it. So I'm gonna create my beautiful little tree top fan. So from here, I like to put all the picks on top of the tree, the fanning of the top of the tree. It's just easier to start the fan and then the bubbles and all the smaller types of decorations afterwards. Don't tell me why, I just find it easier. Let's get to fanning. Nothing like a good fanning.com.au. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to tell you, these are quite old. I bought these from Myers probably about five years ago. Lots of different brands keep bringing these out. They're not just Myers only product. You'll be able to find them year to year. You just go look for them yourself, that's all. where our Australiana comes in. I have got these beautiful gum leaves. They're the silk. They're the silk fake ones. I'm sure if I used real ones, God, it would make the house smell beautiful and Australian-y and Christmassy all in the one. I already had these from last year that we used these to decorate our table and I've decided to put it in our Christmas tree for our semi-Australian themed Christmas tree. Some more picks that we got from Kmart a couple of years ago. Again, they bring out similar versions every year. Try and wait for your boxing sale. Now the tip with the spray of stars, or anything that you have that's a pick with the spray, it's really good if you aim them straight up so they spray outwards rather than outwards and they're just all going to clump together and spray down. Top tip for the day, go right back down. My big silver balls, they're so big I can see my reflection in them. <laughs> so I got these balls, I've got, I got to stop saying balls. I got these balls, these ones are new. These ones we got from Big W, they're only $3 each. They are much bigger than a normal size. They probably don't look and right now. Done. They're much bigger than normal size. You'll see them next to normal size bubbles, don't you worry. But these are very rustic looking and I just love them and I think they're gonna fit perfect on our tree. And again, I wanted to go for bigger decorations this year. got a normal size bauble. So that's a regular, a regular large bauble that you'd get in the shops normally. And they're the big W ones. Australiana. I got these from Kmart. We've got the echidnas, the kangaroos and your koalas as well. How Australian can you get? Australiana Christmas, here we are, dot com dot au. Look at that. So pretty. That one was from Big W. It's called the Hanging Bubble with Berry and it's going to have prime position on our Christmas tree right at the front. <laughs> Wish me luck for getting the star at the top of the tree. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Look! Our own beautiful Australiana slash Bree family Christmas tree. It's finally done! Hooray! High five! Here we go, we're finished. We've finished our giant seven foot Christmas We've finally finished our seven. We've finally finished our seven foot Christmas tree. 
We're not going to do the other two until tomorrow. I'm going to let the kids just go for gold with that. All of the colours just meshed in beautifully. So everybody, while we've got you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring that dingy bell just so you get notifications when we put something up. Well, it's been quite spectacular, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.